Now this illustration deals with sizing an inverse time circuit breaker to allow a motor to start and accelerate its load. Now notice starting with a node again, an inverse time circuit breaker will hold about three times their rating at 600 volts or less as a rule of thumb for a period of time based upon the frame size of the circuit breaker. Uh, and, and notice now in the call-out information, uh, we have a design-e motor, and usually those come from the European uh, market, uh, 100 horse, 460 volt, three phase. Now, we're going to determine what size circuit breaker would allow this motor to start based upon the LRC. Now, step one, 100 horsepower, 725 amp. We're saying that is the starting uh, current value. Now, if we take a circuit breaker at 250 amp rating times three, that's 750, that's greater than the 725 amps in step one. So if the uh, motor doesn't take a long period of time to accelerate its load, that's going to start that uh, uh, motor in its load. And that's what the solution's telling us, that the circuit breaker has a holding power of 750 uh, amps for a period of seconds based upon the frame size of the circuit breaker that you'd obtain from Square D, Cutler Hammer, uh, who, who, you know, the manufacturer of the circuit breaker, uh, they'd have charts telling you this. You can even go online now and get it, you know, pretty easy if that becomes a problem. Now, a quick way to do it is in the quick calc. Uh, lot rotor current, you know, 725. Uh, you can round that up to uh, an even unit of 10, 730, times 6 uh, for code letters A through G on the motor. And uh, you notice if you divide that by 3, you'd come up with 240 amps when you do your 6 times uh uh, say, uh, the uh, 130 that you rounded up from 124 uh, nameplate to 130 times 6, divide that by 3 for code letters A through G, and you'd come up with 240 amps, and you could just round that up to uh, uh, 250. Or say you come up with 260, then you could round down to 250 or round up to um uh, the next size in accordance with 430.52C1, remember, round down size. Or 430.52C1 exception, round up size that you would uh, find there uh, in your code book when you review uh, the round up, round down size, or maximum size that we talked about. So this is a quick way to do it, as you see in the quick calc there. You could just, if you didn't want to round it up, you could just start at 725, divide it by 3, you come up with 242, round it up to 250, and that's going to allow your motor to start and run. Now the question comes up, well, could I use a, a 225 or 200 uh, amp uh, inverse time circuit breaker if it allow the motor to start and run? Absolutely. There's nothing in the code to prevent that. It just gives you maximum values and minimum values and the table 430.52 is just giving you a percentage to start with. You can always round it down, but you can't round up without you have an exception to let you do so. Now, that's important for engineers and electricians uh, to uh, understand. So this uh, uh, figure 18-24B as in boy is uh, illustrating using inverse time circuit breakers we're sizing it in compliance with the code, then using a quick calc rule of thumb method that you see in the quick calc box 10 information.